We raise our own money and buy these to build bridges to kind of develop that understanding. So that's our organization. We don't really, like, you know, we don't try to fundraise. We're not trying to indoctrinate people or anything like that. We just want to, you know, have these kind of conversations because if you see a lot of people, there's a lot of misinformation out there about Islam. Like people don't understand Islam because Fox and all these hate preachers and all this stuff. But people like you that are open-minded, that want to have that conversation, we want to be here. I'm a Christian, but I love my... I feel you. I gotta love my, my brothers. Excellent. Brothers and Excellent. sisters. Excellent. So let me let me tell you a little bit about things yeah. that we have in common, for right. example, right? We love Jesus. Yeah. Right? Like you see some Christians making fun of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, or burning his image no, or no, making drugs. Those Christians are not true Christians. There you go, man. Say it, say it. Those those are those are the fake Christians, those right? Are fake Christians. Those are the ones trying to give Christianity a bad name, right? But us, we believe in good people like you that we want to have this conversation. We yeah. love Jesus. We love Moses, we love Abraham, we love Muhammad. Peace and you blessings be upon all, all of them. Prophets. All his prophets, exactly. I mean, think about it, right? Like when you look at the message that was sent with Moses and Abraham, it, it was one message, right? right? Believe in that one God. What's the first commandment, right? Yeah, hear, O Israel, yeah, yeah. hear, O Israel, your Lord is one, right? right? Second commandment, don't worship idols, right? That's the same belief that we believe Jesus brought, right? Yeah. But you know as a Christian that the Bible got altered and stuff. You know, you had King James and you had his version and yeah. you had others and you had right, right, right. The, the, the Council of Nicaea and trying to quantify the divinity of Jesus and all that kind of stuff it went through, right? Yeah. So we want to believe in Jesus like his true followers did as a prophet, right. as somebody who brought a message like Abraham and Moses and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So that is our da'wah. And as a Christian, I think, you know, you'll see that we, we believe Jesus was a Muslim, right? Uh -huh. What does that mean even? A Muslim is somebody who submits their will to Allah. Right, right. right? right, right, right. So it's the so same. It's about submission. Exactly, it's exactly. To, to, to Allah. To there the you go, man. You're on it. Like, think about it. Don't respect, you think? I really respect the Islamic faith. I well, really I respect your behavior. Jewish faith, like all these Excellent, faith, yeah. The, like monotheism is, they're all there you intertwined. Go. Like, it's exactly. All, it's all intertwined. Like, we're so, all believe, we all believe in the same God. Alhamdulillah. We believe in one Allah, right? No, no subdivisions, none of that stuff. One creator. To I forget the word. Make it to to Jannah, paradise. To Jannah. Yeah, Jannah. exactly, Make man. It to paradise. paradise. Since I was to read up. Because I have a friend who's who's he teaches me some of the words about Islam. Yeah, about nice, Islam. nice, Jannah. nice. Well, we can be your friends here. Come become okay. Muslim and we'll be with you know. Come join us on this side, man. Okay. You're you're well, almost there, bro. I'll keep praying. I keep praying. Keep praying, reading. Like, you know, here, take this one as well. This has a whole you. section about Jesus and uh, kind of like how we respect and love him. Great. And uh, come back when you got more questions, man. Okay, I appreciate it. All right, Thank have, you. have a great day. You too. God bless All right, you. Allah guide you. Thank you guys. I'll give my life and I'm going to die and I'm going to rise from the dead. And he asked Peter, who do you say that I am? Peter said, thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus compliments him and says that he is not wrong to the Son of the Son. Come talk to us. What? 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 Sure, there you go, bro. And then I gotta go. I'm really, I'm late. I mean, if you're gonna make a point, then I'd love to discuss it a little no, bit. If you're just I gonna don't make have time. Okay, well then come well, back when you, you got said, time. Uh -huh. Where does it say that? I'm gonna sure, tell sure. you. But, but the quick question is: This Bible was this don't written in the time of? Don't tell me. Why not? Up. I'm gonna it tell is. you. You asked me to show you. I know, but I'm saying is what you're showing is corrupted. Okay. So how can it be an evidence? It doesn't matter what it says, and does it? It doesn't. I'm, well, I'm wasting no, 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 time. no, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. I'm Let gonna me read it to you. Go ahead, go ahead, read it to me. Okay. When Jesus came into the regi region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, "Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am?" And the they Son said, of Man. Son of Man, that was one of the titles he was given. So he's a son Some, of man. Listen to me. I'm trying to understand the title. Are you I'm not trying to listen? I, I want to understand as well. <laughs> Is he the son of man or the son of God? He's a Muslim because he followed the same religion. What is that religion? Believe in one creator, follow the prophet of your time. This is success. Adam, Moses, Abraham, David, all the way down to the prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon all of them. It was the same religion. So Islam didn't start like thousand years ago or two thousand years ago. That is since Adam, this is the religion.
Uh, what do you know about Islam? Um, not much. I started watching this show called The Chosen on uh, Peacock. It's Jesus. It's um, Jesus show, and right. it's just intriguing. Is, is, is it hosted by Jesus himself, or no, I'm um, just kidding? It's, it's, based on, it's based on the people around Jesus, not necessarily okay. Jesus, but the hmm. people that surrounded him. But see, a lot of a lot of that is fiction, as you know, because yeah, TV show, yeah, right? Yeah, but it, 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 you know, I've never thought about religion and things. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Excellent. Well, so let me give you a, a quick introduction to Islam. Islam has that belief that there is only one creator, right? This we call Tawheed. Like we don't believe God has kids, roommates. You know, when we talk about sons of God in the Bible, for example, um, people have misconstrued that to being literal sons. Right? But this is why I'm saying the people around Jesus, this language they spoke was Aramaic. Okay? The earliest biblical scriptures of the New Testament are in Koine Greek, common Greek. So it's not even in the language of those people. And those people, they were unlearned. They were, this is a Bible that I have. So you will find that in the Bible, in Acts chapter 4, verse 13, it says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, the disciples, and perceived that they were uneducated, untrained men, they marveled. So what does that tell you? That these disciples were not really, they weren't like scholars. They were regular people. They were uneducated people, right? So these books are not written by them. They're attributed to them. They were written in Koine Greek. Some, some of the earliest basic scriptures, 40, 70, 100 to 400 years later, right? So that isn't even from Jesus. Let me give you one example, right? If you look at the death of Judas, right? You know Judas, the one that betrayed Jesus according to the biblical text. Um, in Matthew, Chapter 27, verse 5, it says, Then he threw down, threw down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. Whoa. So how did he die? Suicide. Suicide, but how? Hanged himself. Yeah. Hanged himself, right? Excellent. So now in the same Bible, if you go to a different chapter, which is Acts, as you can see, I read the Bible a lot. Um, Acts 1 verse 18. Now this man, which is Judas, purchased a field with the wages of inequity, meaning the wages of selling out Jesus, and then falling headlong, he burst open in the middle and his entrails gushed out. You see, you're intelligent, that's why you're like, what? Wait a minute. There's no hanging, no suicide. There is falling, gushing of entrails. So why is that? Because these aren't written by the actual disciples. These are accounts that people put together to anonymous authors. The writers are anonymous and attributed to certain disciples. And that's why you will find all of these are contradictions. Right? And that's why even if you look in the Bible, you will find many people called the sons of God. Right? Um, I'll give you an example here. This is in the, in the Psalms of, uh, of David, where in chapter 2 verse 7 it says to David that that I will decree David is saying I will decree the decree the Lord has said to me now this is Old Testament this is before Jesus but what did God say to David you are my son today I have begotten you right but this doesn't mean that he's his literal son right this is the problem people get into and that's why you see the Christian religion has been changed over time and has all these contradictions, right? Even if you look at the idea of God having, you know, impregnating a woman and then he is God, but then he's the father. And then, you know, Jesus is on the cross crying out to God. But well, who's he crying out to if he is God, right? And why would he say you've forsaken me if that was the plan, right? So we give you an easy belief, a very simple, that, that in your own heart, what we call fitrah, your natural belief will accept it, right? One creator, no wife, no kids, no roommates, no husband, no girlfriends, no, none of that stuff, right? One creator that's greater than all of us. There is nothing like him. We can't compare him to us. There is nothing that can even resemble our great creator. What we know about a creator, what he told us about it. What did he tell us? He said, he sent Adam, he sent Abraham, he sent Moses, he sent Moses, uh, David and, and, and Jesus and Muhammad. 
peace be upon all of them. We love all of them. We don't make fun of them. We don't make cartoons of them. We don't disrespect them. We love all of them. And all of them, one message. Worship one God. Don't worship idols. Don't. You go to a church nowadays, the first thing you see is big idols. What's the second commandment? Don't worship idols. Right? God says, God is one. And then they're like, no, he's three. Sometimes he's two. Sometimes he's three and a half. So, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense, right? And then, then their Bible says, God is not the author of confusion. Well, the Trinity is as confusing as it gets, right? Yeah. So Islam gives you that simple, pure, natural belief. One creator, you have a direct relationship. You don't have to go to a priest. You don't have to go and confess to some guy in a box and worry if he's got kids in the back or not. You just go there. You, you, you want to you wanna confess to Allah. You, you turn, you said, you are my creator. You are the creator of the universe. Forgive me. And Allah forgives you. He doesn't have to kill his son. He doesn't have to shed any blood. He can forgive you. That's the beauty of mercy in Islam. What do you think about it? That's beautiful. You like it? I really right? appreciate you explaining it. Excellent, you. excellent. Thank you. If you have any other questions, ask us. And when you're ready to become Muslim, we're ready to do the Shahada here. Thank you. All right, have a great day. Come on down. He was saying that evil come, come. doesn't exist. All uh, right, come talk to us, man. How you guys doing? Good, how you doing? Pretty good. What's your name? How's your day? Good, good. What's your name? Oh, uh, Dennis. Dennis? Yeah. Uh, so are you Christian? Are you Jewish, Muslim, uh, atheist, agnostic? No, no. Nothing? Yeah, nothing. I wouldn't say that because I used to be Christian. Okay. Well, at least you've taken a step away and uh, kind of read be, now. But Catholics. Catholic. Huh? Okay. Buddha. Yeah. Um, I don't discriminate. Any of it. Nice. So because they're all part of the uh, evolution. Okay. Evolution in the sense that God sent messages and Islam being the last one, like that kind of evolution you're saying? No, it's all part of... Uh, like, uh, so, like, if there's no religion, mm -hmm. right, and people are choosing, right, and it's not for them, it's just like a Walmart, Target, okay. uh, different, it's different, cars, flavors. different flavors. But, but you but think... Imagine if there's none. Mm -hmm. Then what would the whole world be? Atheists, yeah, just right. chaos. People don't believe chaos. Right. Or killing each other. So do you believe there is a God, like a creator that created us? Yeah, I do believe. All right, good. So, but so I'm, I do believe that. Okay. Like, I remember when I started watching. What about you? <laughs> so I do believe that there is uh, an alpha creator. Okay, good. But there is also a bunch of creators. A bunch of creators. Yes. Right, so, because this world. So now think about it. Let's let's take it a step by right. Let's say you were a creator and she was a creator and I was a creator and me and you disagreed. What would happen? You know. That's the whole reason why we had Christian, right. Catholic. But, but, but don't you think that the same creator that sent Moses and Abraham and Jesus and Muhammad is one creator? Or do you think there's different gods that are battling it out? You know? There's no, uh, there's only one God. Okay, good. So there we go. One, one God. God. All right, we're, we're making one progress. One God means one leader. Okay. One commander. Okay. But us, like, let's say, we work in a construction area. Okay. You're an electrician. I'm a plumber. Gotcha. He's a carpenter. Okay. And we're working under one contractor. Gotcha. And that contractor, whatever name you call it. Sure. And we're all working under it. Right? How are you doing? Uh. So who's going to be responsible? The, the same, the, that constructor mm. is the leader. Okay. He tells us what to do. What type of, uh, what kind of... Uh, okay, so, so let, let's take it a step back, right? Like, like we do believe there's one creator, like one God, so, like one main right, one power. Leader. Okay. In so, a spiritual world, Gotcha. So, so let's take it step by step. That one creator created us, right? No. No? Not exactly. Okay. So let me uh, refrain it, okay? Okay, sure. Uh, one creator. Okay. Meaning one guy. Okay, one guy. No, Good. Hold on, let me, let me. One guy. Okay. One leader. That means it's a leader, it's a commander. Okay. Okay, but there's a bunch of things. Right. Like, let's say you created the fish, I created the, uh, the plants, all the okay. trees. I mean, I'm just going to listen to you first. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So, but they're all angels. They're all spirit, spiritual. Okay, so so let, let's let's try to clarify. So one God and a bunch of angels. Right, they're right. creators. Okay, so, so the God itself so, is so, also 
So the the guy, the leader, the commander, okay. it's also a creator. But he is a commander. He tells gotcha. he tells the angels what to do. Okay. So he says, let us let us create fishes. Let us create animals. Okay. Let so us so trees. that creator, when you have this information, where did you get this information from? It's in the Bible. Okay. Excellent. So the Bible, as you are no longer a Christian anyway, so. If it you look at on the Genesis, I got you. I got you. But the thing with the Bible is that you, if you, and, and I can tell you're a well-read man. There's a lot of things that are contradictory, right? right? They've been changed right. by people, right? So I think it would be uh, only logical to assume that we cannot rely on another, the Bible, right? Another one is when they created, they created man. It says there. Okay. In the Bible it created man and woman equal. Okay. Uh, so so. And then, but, but the point the point then, first is, can yeah. we rely upon the information here? Well, the the Bible means uh, to me. Okay. It's just so that you and I okay. can look at the Bible, read it, right? Read it and right. then learn from people's mistakes. Yeah. But but let me let me show you something, right? In the Bible, you have John seventeen three. Mm -hmm. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, right. and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Right, right? the only so, true God, meaning, so, meaning to say... That anything else would be a false God, right? Yes, so, so the exactly. opposite of the true is false. So, and, and again, I'm not saying that this is the words of Jesus, but what I'm saying is, right. if you're looking at that concept, then it would not say that there are other creators, only one true God, right? right? Yes. Go ahead. So now... So that meaning is like what I said from the beginning. Okay. I said one true God means... Okay, so good, we one agree. One leader. But, but this one. doesn't say leader, right? No, no, no. no. Yeah. It's, it's, it's in a... It, you could not say it's a leader because at the beginning, at the mm -hmm. beginning, it already tells you it's a leader. Because okay. Because it's... it's uh, telling people, it's telling the, the angels what to do. Okay. So that means it's... Uh, so the angels are the servants of God. Right. Okay, so I'm now, with you on that one. So now, right. the angel says, you know I'm what? Not. I'm a creator. You're a creator. The only difference between you and me is but, you're a leader. But when did, where, does, where does the concept that angels create things come from? Like, I don't see that in the Bible. The angels created things. Well, it's in the Bible because, you know what? Where? It, it tells you that let us. Okay, let okay, us. But, okay, excellent. So, us in Aramaic or in the uh, Semitic languages, which is the original languages, including in Arabic, is used to show respect. Yeah. This is called the majestic plural. Yeah. Okay? For example, if you look at the old kings, uh, even in the, in the West, when they decreed something, they would say, we have decreed. Right. Even though they're talking about one. So just because us is used doesn't mean that there's more than one creator. Right. That would only be that it shows majesty and right. honor of the it one says, creator. It says on the Bible, you shall not serve other gods. Exactly. So if there is no other god that wants to be god, why would right. you want to say that? Excellent. Because there are false gods. Right. So, so, exactly. so false gods, like anybody, somebody could say that dogs are god. Like right. Hindus, they're worshipping COVID-19. They're right. worshipping monkeys, right? So those are false gods. Right. So in the Bible and in the Quran, we hear that the, the order is, hear O Israel, first commandment, your Lord is one Lord, right? right? Do not worship idols or false gods, right? right? So people make statues of Jesus and worship it. That's right. a false God. Jesus wasn't God. He was a prophet of God, yeah. right? In Islam, and that's why I'm glad you got a Quran already, right? In Islam, we have divine revelation without contradiction, yeah. right? So if you want to know about that creator, that creator's words are in front of you. Right. Like instead of us guessing at, well, maybe there's one God and there are many demigods and their angels are also like, instead of that, we read what God told us about himself. Does that and make also, sense? Does that make sense though? If you look at Does it make sense though? Yes. Okay, good. If you look at the uh, Genesis, it mm -hmm. says when Adam and Eve mm -hmm. right, uh, ate the apple. Well, there doesn't say apple, but yeah. Right. And it says, it says, look, this man has become one of us. Look, he says, look, so, this man become. Do you know what verse that is? Because I, I mean, uh, but anyway, the, the, the point with the Bible is, a lot of the Bible, as you know, has been changed anyway, right? You know, like, like for example, just, it says. I'm looking at the Old Testament. I'm talking about the Old Testament too. I'll, I'll give you an example, right? Um, here. 
It says Solomon had 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots and 12,000 horsemen. So how many? 40,000 stalls? Sure. We, we can throw it away for you, don't worry about it. You got it? Okay. Hold it. Hold it. Just put it here, it's okay, don't worry. Hey, but, but, but you can put it down, it's okay, don't worry about it. We want you to relax. Like basically stuff that because I know somebody who just got hired for a section. So I was talking to him, he was like, to be honest, bro, like, he was like, I'm just like, he was how you doing? Free information. The only concern now, bro, is uh, I just feel like I just feel like in the corporate America. I don't know, this is just my thought. I have no idea if you should be like. How you doing, Yusuf? Did you need some information? Any questions? Do you know much about Islam? Uh, yeah, not that's really. true. Um, stupid questions. There are no stupid questions, only stupid answers. So ask anything you like. Oh, no, this is very Islamic culture, that's the one where you have like the worshipping boxes. Okay. You guys have a good day. Alright, uh, so you have a Quran, read it. This is the words of the Creator. So if you want to know about the Creator, you have the words, then come back. Okay. Thank you. Okay? Alright, so uh, first thing, Islam is not a culture, it's a religion. Not culture. Sure, I got you. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to explain it. So, um, we have a place called the Kaaba, right? And it's not that it's a the box concept. This is where Abraham and Ishmael built a place of worship. Uh, yo, you guys, there's people, man. <laughs> How you doing? Yusuf, Khabarikal, Victor. So, when you look at the Kaaba, this is a place that was made holy from the time of Adam and the different prophets went there, right? Like uh, Abraham and Ishmael, they're the one that built the original building and it wasn't square at the time. It had a little curved area, right? And it's been rebuilt over time. And it's a central point of pilgrimage and prayer to unite the believers from around the world. So we worship only one creator, but we do face the Kaaba as a unified place to focus, right? Even though, oh, Asalaamu Alaikum. How you doing? How you been, man? You cut your hair? How you doing, bro? Bro, I've watched everyone here. Long time, man. Today, I was like, I'm coming down here to support. All right, man. Alhamdulillah, it's good to see you, bro. So, what it does, it unites us, right? Before that, we used to pray facing Majd al-Aqsa in Jerusalem in Al-Quds, right? So, it's not about the direction. It's about obedience to our Creator and unity, right? Like, for example, today, many people who are uh, Jewish, they will say very horrible things about Jesus. They'll say he was born out of wedlock. You know, I mean, if you look at the, the Jewish belief, they don't believe... I am Jewish. Okay, so, so you don't believe that Jesus was a God or a prophet, right? We don't. I'm not super religious, but okay. as, as far as I know, I don't think we really believe in Jesus at all. Like, exactly. So, so, you, so, so, and I spoke to a lot of rabbis here and Orthodox and Ramorm. They will say, well, he was born out of wedlock, meaning Mary had illicit relations and he was born out of that. They don't believe he was a miraculous birth, right? So, so we believe that that Jesus was born miraculously, right? So it kind of unites together, right? Now, uh, a lot of a lot of G Christians may say very horrible things about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon all of them, right? But us, we believe in him as well. So we believe in Abraham. And what happens as, as somebody from the Jewish faith or Christian faith or Islamic faith, when we look at the Kaaba and we look at the unifying factor of Abraham, knowing Abraham was a Muslim, somebody who submitted himself, made a place of, of worship to worship the one true God, right? It unites mankind. And then it reminds Christians and Jews that every prophet was a Muslim. We're not on a new religion. We don't worship a new God. We don't worship, we don't have new prophets. We believe in all of them. But the problem is, for example, a lot of the people, the Jewish faith, they stopped their belief from Jesus and Muhammad. They just stuck, right? The Christians, they misunderstood Jesus, right? They, they took him to be the son of God, literally. And as, I don't know if you know Hebrew or Aramaic. Okay, excellent. So, so you know in Hebrew, for example, you may call somebody a son out of endearment, but not necessarily a physical son, 
right? Even in English, sometimes you'll see like uh, like a Catholic will go to a priest and say, forgive me, Father, right? But they don't mean like, Father, Father, right? Or somebody may come up to you and say, come here, son, like to a person, right? But they don't mean like you're physically my son, right? So the Christians, they, they in, in their translation from Aramaic to Koine Greek, even though in the Bible, you find many people called sons, right? As one of the earlier du'at said, sons by the tons, right? So you'll find, for example, sons of God. Right, exactly. So, so I mean, here when we look at for Solomon, he shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne for his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. It doesn't mean physical son, right? Same thing with David. When in the Psalms of David it says, I declare the decree, the Lord has said to me, David is saying, you are my son, today I have begotten you. But that doesn't mean, again, you know, nobody from the Jewish faith took, took that to be literal, but people in Koine Greek and stuff later tried to make that a literal son. And there were Christians, and there still are Unitarians who did, who, who rejected that belief, but Consul and I say and all that. So, in Islam, we have the pure belief on the book that has been not corrupted, that has not been changed. And it's a free gift. We can go ahead and have it, yeah? There's a little flyer if you want it as well. Um, if you want any other flyers, books, these are all free. We're not trying to you know, make money here. We're not trying to indoctrinate. We just want to give da'wah, call people towards that truth. So, so, so we do worship in the direction, but we only worship the one creator, right? And you, you do believe there is a one creator, right? Do you believe that? So yeah, take your time. Yeah. Okay. It fits perfectly, see? Meant to be. <laughs> so do you believe that creator sent prophets like Abraham and Moses? Peace be upon them, David. I believe that he presented himself to them. I don't think okay. that he was necessarily sent. I think it was right, but, but they brought the message to the people, right? Like like Moses bringing the Ten Commandments, right? So that's a prophet, right? That's what a prophet does. He brings the message, right? A messenger. We, we agree? Okay. So now those prophets, they continued with the same message, right? Don't worship idols, don't worship cows and golden calves and all that. Worship the one creator, right? And Jesus, we believe, brought the same message. The original message of Jesus was the same. And the message of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and you'll see in the book, the, the Quran, this is the message, this is the words of Allah that were sent to him. It's the same message, right? So don't you think that message makes sense? One creator sends prophets, no kids, no room mates, no killing people for forgiveness, all that, right? Yeah. What do you think? Interesting. Right. not exactly the most religious person, so. oh, But you're here, right? And that means God has opened up a door for you. I'm interested in um, just multiple, um, in just, uh, not culture, but just like other, just like religious stuff. It's Excellent. interesting to me, but well, I'm not necessarily religious. I sure, I understand. But, but obviously you do have a spiritual connection with your creator, right? Uh, I mean, at, at times when in hardship, do you not call out like, you know, let's say you're on a plane and starts shaking crazy and you're like, oh God, like help, you know, or somebody's, you, you do you do pray in times of need, right? And you pray to not a man, not Jesus, not a monkey, you pray to that one creator, right? Right? So th that's the core belief of Islam, is we pray directly to that one creator, right? And you do believe that Creator didn't leave us without guidance, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so that guidance, as you said, were those messengers that brought the laws of God, the guidance, how to worship God, who God is, how His sifat, His, his uh, characteristics, so we don't make up our own ideas. They brought that message to us, right? So now, so, so see, this is the Muslim belief. We believe that there is one Creator, no kids, no roommates, not a man, not a woman, not a you know, alien green stuff, right? Is that one creator that created the whole universe, that created me and you, that me and you call upon him in times of need, right? And he answers our prayers. Many times in your life, you were going through some hardship and that hardship went away, right? So, so that one creator brought you here today. And that one creator had you take this book today. And that book in your, in your purse is the words of that creator, right? So the Muslim belief that that is one creator and he sent prophets, does that not make sense? Like, isn't that just logical, right? I guess so. Um, right. I'm not sad. Salaam alaykum. Salaam alaykum. Jazakallah khair. See you. Yeah.
All right. Have a great day. If you have any questions after reading, come back. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah, without really lack of brother. How you been, man? How long been? time. How long has it been? <laughs> Too long, bro. <laughs> Years, man. I bear witness that. I bear witness that. There is no one worthy of worship. There is no one worthy of worship. Except, except Allah. Allah. And, and I bear witness that. I bear witness that. Muhammad, Muhammad is is Allah's messenger. Is Allah's messenger. And his slave. And his slave. And his slave. And Muhammad is the messenger. Is the slave of Allah. And Muhammad, the messenger, is the slave of Allah. Yes. Muhammad. Congratulations. Come on, bro. Come on, dude. How do we learn more? We are going to so nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Zachary. Zachary. Nicholas. Thank Nicholas. You.